Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing great. So today's reading is going to be for Divine Masculines, Divine Feminines, in Divine Soulmate Connections. That does include Twin Flame, Twin Soul Connections. And yeah, it's going to be general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But that is okay. If you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And real quick, before we get started, um, for those of you who... Um, knew about Charlie the update on that Charlie is the cat that was um, in the clinic he's doing well he's been home since Monday and he seems to be recovering very well so we are very 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 grateful to all of you who prayed for him who sent him healing energy just positive thoughts I um, I feel like it really worked and yeah he's he seems to be doing very very well he's actually in the room with me so yeah, and if you would like to donate to the animal rescue that helped me pay his medical bills, it's the key to Lion's Heart. I have their link in the description box as well. You can check out their website if you would like. And I also have a very dear friend of mine who has a, an Instagram page. It's new and she does channeled messages, all right, for Divine Feminines and masculines. I absolutely love her messages. I will include the link to that in the description box also. And it is, um, it's called A Scorpio's Journey and she really is amazing. So do check her out if you would like to. And last but not least, if you like this doll that's on the desk, that's a dear friend of mine as well who makes them, I will include the link to her Etsy shop as well. All right, so that is it. Let's get into the reading and see what is going on with the masculines, and then we'll take a quick look at the feminines as well. All right, and we have woman holding a coin. Okay, interesting. Let me get a couple of more. Okay, and we also have healing, fear, and contemplation. All right, so yeah, I definitely feel like like things had escalated a lot um, leading up to that solar eclipse that we had, which I think was about um, a week ago or so, maybe a little bit more. And ever since then, it's like things are just really coming out into the open. And I feel like one of those things is fears, all right? People facing their fears um, and actually healing the root of that and the, the reason why they're doing that is because they are able to actually see the fear and able to kind of really ponder about what is this fear why is it here where did it come from why do I need to live with it right this is what is healing and this is the process that the masculines are are in at the moment there's a lot of contemplation a lot of thinking about their fears all right now we also have woman holding a coin and I feel like this is actually because to me, this reminds me of the Queen of Pentacles. So for some of them, yes, it could be that there is a third party or that there is some kind of a karmic situation going on with another person. It doesn't have to be a partner. It can be a, um, it could be a relative. It could be a friend. It could be just about anybody. And I do feel that for a lot of um, viewers on my channel, because I do <laughs> karmic readings as well, this does seem to be the case for a lot of you. However, the main message that I'm getting here with this is that this is the masculine actually being very fond of the um, feminine right now to the extent that the masculine wants to also embody that same energy, almost as if the masculine can pick up on the feminine's energy who is um, moving forward, being independent, being very self-reliant, being very, very confident, and it's almost as if the masculine wants to also be that way. It's kind of like an envy, but not with the negative aspect. It's more of an admiration, and therefore feeling encouraged to also stand in that type of an energy. And this is why, this is another reason why um, their fears are being brought up to be faced. Like that's something that is also pushing them. So let's get into 
the tarot and see more specifically what is going on right now. And we'll also take a look at what is coming up in the next week or so. So I will just be pulling from the top, from this deck. All right, so for the Masculines, we have the King of Pentacles, the Page of Wands in reverse, and the Empress in reverse. Okay, interesting. So, I'm definitely picking up that there is that there is um, somebody here who is influencing them, okay? And for a lot of you, you might not even be aware of it because it's not a romantic partner for everybody, okay? But this is... There is definitely somebody here. For a lot of you, it might be a mother figure that I feel is um, has been influencing the masculine in a negative way, at least, you know, currently. Maybe not always, maybe not all the time, but maybe the last couple of weeks or so. All right, so I am going to clarify and get more information here. But what I see them doing is actually, um, again, with this King of Pentacles, it's like wanting to be grounded, wanting to be stable, trying to, to find their inner balance when it comes to their environment as well and what it is that they are doing in their environment. And I feel like, again, number one, that's trying to match their feminine's energy. And number two, the other message I'm getting here is that there's a sense of obligation that this masculine feels towards another person here that is not the feminine. This is not coming in as the feminine at all. And it is something that might be um, blocking them in a way from being able to fully reach that potential as the king of pentacles because it's like the, the sense of obligation is like throwing them off. It's not something that they really are obligated to. It's like a false sense of obligation for the wrong purpose. And it is actually standing in the way of them fully reaching that potential for their own self. So let's see. Um, that's what's going on with them in general at the moment. Let's get more specific for what is going on in their headspace concerning, concerning the connection with the feminine. What are they thinking? Just had the four of wands pop out. All right, we have Temperance, the Queen of Wands, and the Nine of Cups in reverse. All right. So here it is, again, and we have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. They're trying to find this balance. Um, again, it really is coming through as trying to match the feminine's energy. I just keep hearing that. So for some of them, this might be on a conscience level. And then for others, it might actually be on a subconscious level. All right. Either way, they're seeing the feminine as this queen of wands, as somebody very desirable, as somebody who um, is very confident, who goes after what he or she wants, who overcomes their challenges, their obstacles. They're seeing you as a go-getter, basically, and really like doing your own thing. And again, it feels like this is something that they want to match. All right, I feel like the, this masculine feels like they have not been at that at at your level, kind of. It's like they've always been at kind of like chasing, trying to find that balance within them, that healing. And it's like you were always a step ahead, and it's like they know this. They can feel it because they've been stuck in certain things, a lot of these things being fear. And because of that, they haven't had their wish fulfillment. They're not happy. They, in other words, they're feeling the absence of the emotional fulfillment that they would have with you. So let's just get one more row to see what is going on with them emotionally and then we'll clarify. Right. 
Ace of Wands, the Nine of Swords in reverse, and Judgment. All right, so a lot of passion. All right, I'm also getting a lot of sexual energy with this Ace of Wands here. And there is stress. There's still stress here, okay, with the Nine of Swords. So it's like a mixture of things. I feel like this, um, whatever it is that has happened recently, and I do feel like something may have happened for a lot of you recently, something out of the ordinary, or either there was a really big trigger or like a big event or something out of the ordinary. Not for all of you, but for some of you. For those of you where there wasn't something out of the ordinary in the physical, like some kind of a disagreement, an argument, a cutting off, or a, um, a meeting, a contact, maybe after a while of separation, um, something being revealed, whatever. If that was not the case for you, then this could totally be on an energetic level. All right, it's a mixture of there being so much passion, also sexual desire here, all right, having both the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Um, but at the same time, there also being this stress associated with that. It's kind of like this Ace of Wands is actually that, that, that um, sexual tension and passion is actually creating stress. But the way that I'm seeing this is that it's creating a, the good kind of stress, a stress that can actually be beneficial because it is leading to this judgment. It is leading to awareness. It is leading to um, making discernments, being able to see the situation clearly, having a transformation. And I know it, it might sound initially, it might sound a little bit shallow talking about um, passion and sexual energy um, in relation to something so like, you know, uh, divine and big and transformational but everything plays its part all right it just so happens that at the moment this is a contributing factor because they are it's not just any kind of sexual energy okay this is way more than that it's more of like um this merging of energies feeling the urge to merge because of the unconditional love that is in this connection and so this is why it's also creating stress because they're feeling this energy, this sexual energy, this passionate energy, but it is so different than what it would normally be in, in, other, in other relationships. And so that in and of itself does create this contemplation, like it, it stands out. It makes one think and it can bring about some awareness and a deeper searching into this. So that's that's what I feel is happening for the masculines at the moment. Um, I'm not even sure if I wanna clarify. I'm going to, before we do, before we see if we clarify, let's get a little bit of what is going on with the feminines. And if there is another um, third party in the mix, I feel like there's also awareness and discernment made there as well. Because I do feel like with that top row, um, a lot of masculines are giving energy, they're providing, they're giving a lot of energy to a situation that they don't feel called to give to anymore. Okay, with the Page of Wands and the Empress being, being in reverse. And this is also something that is really standing out to them at the moment, feeling that difference. Like, how do I feel here? Like up here, it's like, in general feeling like I'm just giving on a physical level and in the material world, but down here, it's like, oh, so much passion, so much drive. This is creativity. This is coming from a divine place. Look at all that fire. Like this is where my soul feels driven. And what their general energy right now is, just in general in their lives, it's not that. It's just on the physical. It's just material, blah, blah, blah. That's all it is. 
And so this is why they're trying to find this balance within them. I feel like there's just so much sparking up in them at the moment. And so all this intensity that they feel for their feminines is coming up. As well as the fears. Because fears are also a part of that. All right. So let's see what's going on with the feminines. All right, we have Angel of Strength. Yeah, so a lot of the feminines are feeling supported at the moment by the universe or you're feeling like you, you are just getting stronger. You're feeling stronger than before, that you can handle what is being thrown at you. You can handle the challenges and the difficulties of this situation or of other situations also in your life. What else? All right, so we have received material world and the answer is no. <laughs> okay, so for the feminines, I feel like you it's interesting how we have this whole like material world thing going on for the masculines. I feel like there is a parallel lesson here for you. Um, slightly different though. I feel like you have really been receiving messages and you have received certain lessons that I feel like you are overcoming, which have to do with your own material world and saying no to certain situations in your own life that are not passion driven situations in your life that do feel like they're just there just on the material world it could just be karma needing to resolve because i feel like there has been a lot of karma that is being resolved during this time period for everybody all right just for um, a whole bunch of different connections and relationships in our lives there's a lot of that that's happening that's what i've been picking up on um you have really been able to receive these lessons and say no to certain things in your life. Whatever is just in the 3D that does not fulfill you on a soul level. And for a lot of you, yeah, this could even be your masculine if your masculine is staying stuck in the 3D and not moving towards their passion. And that does take strength. That does take a lot of strength to say, you know what, I'm gonna say no to this. So once again, you know, good job to to the feminines. All right, so let's, let me just shuffle real, real quick because I will be using the same deck. All right, Femmies. What is going on with feminines? Right, we have the moon, the five of pentacles in reverse, and the two of wands in reverse. Okay, so you might also be having some doubts, some fears showing up. I feel like overall, like yes, you have been learning lessons concerning the material world and saying no to what does not fulfill you on a soul level, even if that is hard, okay? And I do feel like for a lot of you, that's just other things outside of the masculine situation, but it does relate back to that, okay? It's all interrelated in one way or another. However, I do feel like there are some doubts, there are some fears that you might also be facing when it comes to the connection with the masculine. However, Again, it's like you are overcoming these, okay? Both the Five of Pentacles and the Two of Wands, they're in reverse. So I feel like, you know, you... If you had a fear of um, abandonment, a fear of rejection, or just a wound of that, or just feeling like you could not handle those emotions, I actually feel like at the moment... That is also another thing that you are feeling stronger about. You are feeling stronger when it comes to... Um, 
feeling like you are the one who was left waiting, right? Like you were the one um, left abandoned in a way. It's almost as if you're not even seeing it in that light anymore. You know that it's not abandonment. You cannot be abandoned. You're not abandoned. Uh, so I hope you guys can understand what I'm saying. It's like your intuition is taking over and you can actually see this at a deeper level. Yes, there might still be a little bit of doubt. There might still be some fear. And I do feel that a lot of you may have gone through a very um, challenging time, again, building up to the um, solar eclipse that we had. But I feel like now you're coming out of that. You're coming out of that. And this is something that... Um, I feel like that solar eclipse helped to bring all of these repressed emotions of abandonment and of rejection up to the surface. It's like you were holding on to this power within yourself, but you were holding back from using it when it comes to fully being able to face that wound or face that challenge, face that pain, and then release it. And that is what you are doing now. Or maybe you have already done that. So, yeah, it's definitely been intense, I would say. But you're coming out of that now. You're processing those feelings and understanding that no, you are not abandoned and you are not any less worthy. Let me just get one more row for the feminines and then we will um, take a look at what is coming up. So let's just see any other messages that want to come through for the feminines. The chariot, the page of swords in reverse, and the King of Cups in reverse. Okay. Okay, so this is a message. I feel it's like a message of support here, okay? For those of you who might still be feeling emotionally un imbalanced or just feeling like your emotions are all over the place, know that that is okay, all right? I feel like for a lot of you, you feel like you are entering new territory and that it almost feels like your emotions are like out of your control. Like you don't, you, you can't just get the rain on them almost. And I feel like that is related to you feeling like you don't know what is going on, that there, you know, for a lot of you, you might not have contact with your masculine. For, for others of you, this might not even have to do with, with the masculine directly. It's just feeling out of touch with your own self, feeling out of touch with your own emotions, not being able to really get a handle on them. If you've been feeling that way, know that it is okay. You will get that control back. You will just allow this process to run its course. Okay? You will get through it. There's a reason for it, all right? You are strong. You have a lot of support right now from the divine. Keep saying no to whatever does not feel right to you. And allow your emotions to just run their course and don't, don't allow that to really, you know, throw you off and get the better of you. Just kind of try to perceive them from like outside of yourself. Like notice what your emotions are. Yes, feel them. But then kind of, if you can do this, you know, try to just kind of disassociate just for a second, just for a few seconds, look at them, acknowledge them, and then allow yourself to feel them again. And you will see that they will, they will slowly release. So yeah, I don't feel like we need to clarify anything. Um, we're going to move on to see what is coming up in the next week or two. So let's see what is coming up in the next week or so for the masculines. the lovers in reverse, the eight of wands in reverse, and the king of swords in reverse. All right, okay, so they're all in reverse. Okay, so it's, this is actually 
a pretty challenging time that is coming up for the masculines. This is them really having to understand where, where they're headed, what it is that they want to communicate, what discernments that they what discernments are they making and what actions do they want to take? Okay, because we do have judgment here, which is all about making those discernments. But then it's the issue is actually taking action on those discernments. Okay, and we have two action cards in reverse. We also have the lovers in reverse. And I do see this as them feeling the disconnectedness from their feminine because they're not taking this action, knowing that. And see, this is the this is the awareness. I don't have love in my life right now. Why? Because I haven't taken action. I haven't taken action towards it. And actually, it's not that they haven't taken action, okay? They have taken small bits of action, but it's not the full action that is needed in order to have this lovers energy. So let me just clarify these real quick. So I feel like there's more that wants to come through here about this message. Because this is a big realization. Really, this is like really coming into the forefront of their minds. What actions do I need to make? What decisions do I need to make? What do I physically need to do here in order to have this? So let me just clarify. This bottom row, the lovers, the eight of wands, and the king of swords. All right, so we have the seven of swords, the hanged man, and the eight of pentacles. So here's the thing. This is what is coming into their awareness, okay, coming up in this week, is the fact that they have been avoiding this connection. Now, the, the reason why they have been avoiding it is going to be different for each of them. Like I said, for a lot of them, there is an external influence here. Um, you know, for others, it could be different types of fears. I feel like we didn't get into, you know, any specific group concerning that. However, we do have the fear card here, right? Which is going to more or less be um, an element for, for all of them anyway. So because they have been avoiding this, this is though really coming into the forefront, knowing that they have been escaping, knowing that they have just been letting this connection slip slip away from them. And this is what they're gonna be feeling like, oh my gosh, I, you know, I, I'm letting this slip away from me. Because like I said, they're seeing the feminine as really moving forward. So this is beginning to feel very um, real, very real to them. The hanged man, yeah, this is the lack of action. Knowing that because they, they had that lack of action and the lack of communication for some of you was a way of avoiding this. And so here, I like the fact that we have the eight of pentacles because this is showing some effort. So there is going to be some kind of an effort that is being put into taking some kind of action, okay, coming up in this next week. So it's going to be different for all of you. For some of you, yes, it could definitely be communication. Um, for the most part, I feel like it's not going to be much different than last week, to be honest, all right, because um, the main energy is in reverse, all right, with the King of Swords. But there is this knowing and this effort being put in that something needs to change here because the masculine does not want to be stuck. They do not want to stay in the same situation anymore. All right. let's just close this off. Um, ultimately, there is there is this healing, all right? There's a lot of healing of the fears and a lot of awareness, a lot of discernments happening at the moment, a lot of discernments. And I feel like it's just the actions that are kind of like um, on standby, like waiting for this to be processed in order to take some bigger action. I do feel that for some of you, there will be some action in the next couple of weeks. It might be a little smaller, um, but yeah, for the most part, there's an effort, some work that is beginning to happen here when it comes to action. 
Alright, so let's get the final messages. Yeah, we have chaos and conflict. Definitely, definitely. Like I said, there's a lot of stress that is happening and I feel like this, that the feminines have also been feeling this as well. All right, know that that is, that is a natural part of the process. At this point in time, this is needed. Chaos and conflict is happening in order to bring about change, okay? The rebirth judgment comes after chaos and conflict. So let's just get one more. and we have the cardinal moon be bold and make the first move yeah this is exactly the message that the masculine is getting at the moment this is what this is building up to because they are seeing that not making a move what has that gotten them <laughs> the lovers in reverse that's not what they want all right they're feeling that drive they're feeling that that tension building up to make the first move. So if you've been thinking about making a move, maybe take this as a message for you that, because I really feel like this is for the masculine, not for the feminine, okay? So just take it as it resonates though. All right, so I'm gonna leave it at that. I hope this resonated. Thank you guys so much for watching and much love.